So like mm. when I was like I guess at yeah, fifteen, yeah, fifteen, I guess fifteen. I am like you know a teen guy, you know, like a a mama boy, you know, <laughs> a mama boy. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. like she treat me like a kid, and you know, like she loved me. So like you know, she just want me to like stay in the house and near her. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. Like yeah, so... I, like yeah, like yeah, when ahead. I was like uh yeah fourteen fifteen, like I am like so th- very very thin. You can't imagine that thing thinness of me, you know. Oh, yeah, you, everything. You, you look quite, quite sturdy, quite lean now. So, oh, yeah. How how did you train to to get some muscle? Uh, yeah, I bulk up in the gym. You know, like when I was like sixteen, like last year, I go to gym like daily, uh, except for my rest day, and like I bulk up myself very fast, eat some mm-hmm. extra meals. You know, then like I first, I guess like I am like um. Uh, One hundred and uh, one hundred and five pounds, you know, that time. Oh, and and how old were you then? Yeah, uh, I think it's like fifteen, fifteen years old. Hmm. What's your height? What? Uh, hi- my height is like back then. It's like um, I guess five to seven. Five, yeah, five seven. Five seven. You can five. imagine, you know, oh, very yeah, very yeah. thin. With yeah, very very thin. Right now, I am a uh, five eleven. Oh, you're a big, you're a big kid now, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm five eleven, and like right now, my weight is like one fifty pounds. One fifty. Oh, that's massive. Yeah, that's massive. That's great. That's great. So, like the first thing you know, I get in my head, head like for talking gym is like, uh, I don't remember who said that quote, but you know, I remember that he he told that you know I saw on YouTube, uh, if someone want to die. Send him mm-hmm. to the gym and like you know, train him to have uh-huh. a six pack, and then he won't die. <laughs> you know? That can be a lot. It. Okay, let me see who yeah. this could be. Is it uh, that Canadian gymnast? Uh, I don't remember man, I his name, man. You know, he told like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's that's what we were talking about. You know, living in social media, social media era. Uh, of course, you know we can talk about the detriments as well. The, yeah. the bad things that social media is doing to us, you know, we're still young. I mean, um, like ten years older than I mean, a lot, thirteen years Not older. Ten years, than, I get thirteen yeah. years. I'm thirty, so well, I mean, we're in the same era anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, it, you know that there are great benefits, and it, it has it has to do with you know how we react to it. It's it's about our reaction. Of course, you know the yeah. social media is gonna be what it is, right? It's it's gonna be what it is, and they're gonna provide what they provide. They're gonna show us what they show, uh, and they're gonna advertise what they can and what they want to. But our reaction is more important than you know what they show us. How do we react to those advertisements, for example, and those you know a lot of bullish stuff also on the internet. So. Uh, we should be a media. Uh, what is the word for that? We should be. I guess it's like a uh, social media minimalism. And that there is the word. The word I'm trying to uh, remember is, we need to be cautious, educated in social media, something like that. But but uh, it's on the tip yeah. of my tongue actually. Our reaction is important. Uh, for of oh, course, certainly we can't be absorbing everything we see on the internet because, oh, uh, there are a lot of like I said, foolish and a lot, a lot of fake as well, a lot of fake stuff, and danger, a lot of danger, yeah. dangerous stuff as well. So we got to be able mm-hmm. to filter, you know, to filter, uh, the information yeah. that we are being exposed to, um, and being able to differentiate the fake and the real, right? That that's really yeah. important. Otherwise, I mean, it's very easy to fall prey to uh, those misinformation and disinformation. Yeah, I think it's like, like social media is like you know nice, you know, like if we can use it correctly, we can use it very very in good things. But like if we use it in bad way, like even it can kill us. Well, practically, oh, uh, I don't want to say everything, but uh, practically everything is like that. Everything has two sides. Yeah. I mean, um, say for example, the food we eat. 
even the food we if mm -hmm. if we eat too much it's bad for our health right if yeah. we eat it proportionately it's good it's healthy it's good for us so so yeah like you said uh if we can use it to our own benefit it is it is and you know there are a lot of people who are at uh, who are advising against using social media and I'm not really for that because you're in this era and you can't avoid it you just can't avoid it it's inevitable uh, what you should be doing is uh, how you can get yourself around social media right not to run away from it it's gonna be it's I don't I don't think it's a good advice uh, for example if there are you know I think some parents are going to watch this. So if your parents uh, keeping your kids away from social media is not the answer, but educating them on how to wisely use them and being able to parent them, you know, to. Yeah, I'm also like thinking in my mind about asking about the parents, you know, <laughs> and you talk about uh, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it's 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 more about parenting, actually, at this point. It's it's unwise, I would say, to keep them away from using it, uh, because it's they're gonna be uh, behind, right? They're gonna be left behind if they're not exposed to social media. But what's important is to be able to guide them to wisely use them, and to not yeah. be absorbed in on the internet, let's say, in the news, in the information they are uh, being exposed to. For example, there are a lot of advertisements that I've seen online. On Google, on YouTube, sometimes on Facebook. Facebook is bad, bro. Facebook is really bad. The advertisements yeah. they're showing to us are someone not really appropriate. And I don't even know mm -hmm. if they are filtered by age because I've seen some. Actually, uh, I have a nephew. Uh, uh -huh, I see. Who, yeah, he was playing games that the ad they show, the ad that popped up was really, it was, you know, something sexual. I was really surprised, ah, really? and I'm like, I, I skipped it right away, and I was really angry, actually. So we don't know; we never know what mm -hmm. sort of information or yeah. what, what what sort of things they are being exposed to on the internet. So you know, for parents, uh, they gotta be able to guide them, guide their kids, and educate them as well, and discipline them. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, uh, I'm talking big. I don't even have a child yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm just talking big. But anyway, parents, excuse <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, also, like, you know, to be honest, I use TikTok, you know. So, like, sometimes the video pop up, you know, it's like, how do I call that? You know, the trending dance, you know, the girl dance, you know, you know, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, you know, it's not uh, sexual bad, you know, it's like bad for us, you know, it's useless thing. So like for me, like if I see that thing, I just block them. That's <laughs> over, you know. I just block that account, and that's uh, over. Yeah. Well, man, um, talking about TikTok, I'm not really a TikTok guy. So I have a TikTok account, uh, which is run by not yeah. really anymore, but which was created by my little sister actually. So my sister is, uh -huh. I mean, she's really good at a lot of things. So she asked me if she could create a, an account, a TikTok account for me. And I said, no, actually. Initially, yeah. I said no. It was last year. And she said, hey, uh, you could reach more people uh, by having a TikTok okay. account. And I said, well, I don't really want to do it. Uh, if you want to, yeah, you can do it on my name and you can use my videos. And she, she ran it for mm -hmm. like a few months. And she uh -huh. gained like 40,000 or something. Yeah, 40,000 followers in a few mm -hmm. In a few weeks or a few months, uh, two two mm -hmm. months, I think, about two months. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people knew me, actually. A lot of people knew me via TikTok. And, you know, there were some people mm -hmm. that, that I met and they would say, hey, are you that guy that I saw on TikTok? And I'm like, oh, I don't use TikTok. And then, you know, instantly I realized that I have a TikTok account. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I do have TikTok. It's probably me. <laughs> so yeah. I, I do think it has, uh, you know, this benefit of reaching people. But, you know, in terms of yeah. meaningful reach, meaningful contribution to uh, the fans and the audience, I, I'm not really sure about TikTok, but it's it's great for reach. And the one thing that I don't understand that I can't, you know, I can't wrap my head around 
about TikTok is why the, the why they were they have to use just you know these heavy instrumental music all the time why why can't you just upload a video you know a video about just a video let's say why do you have to edit with this yeah. heavy music all the time you know it's just annoying to me i think it's like the platform algorithm is not same as like facebook facebook or youtube you know i think that's the reason mm -hmm. I don't really know. I don't really know. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm not really regular on TikTok. I'm not really that active on TikTok. <laughs> so I can't really talk yeah, much about that. But what I can say for sure is it, since it's one of you know those uh, many social media pl platforms, of course, it has a lot of the same aspects, you know, with YouTube, Facebook. And, you know, we only use YouTube and Facebook, but in Myanmar, I mean, maybe not exclusively. Uh, there are some people who use Instagram as well, mm -hmm. Instagram and uh, WhatsApp a little bit, maybe. Um, so Facebook and yeah. YouTube, even even YouTube, I think um, there weren't a lot of YouTube users in Myanmar until a few years ago. I think it was in it was during COVID yeah. that a lot of people you know picked up yeah. YouTube in Myanmar. I think Facebook was practically the only thing that we knew. Yeah. Um, so we really need, okay, that's a different one. Uh, but I'm glad that a lot of people are coming to YouTube because YouTube is the real deal when it comes to video. Um, it has no competition at the moment. I, I'm sure it has no competition. There are Rumble, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, but you know, there are no comparison when it comes to video. And in terms of audio, we have Spotify and Facebook is great for information sharing, but that's about it. <laughs> it doesn't really yeah. have, you know, that edge in terms of video. Um, but it's changing. By the way, you know, I'm sorry I've been talking for too long, but there is one comparison that we can yeah, make cool. between these three major platforms, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. You know, TikTok was launched in 2016 and it gained popularity in the late 20s, let's say in the late 2020s. Um, it was a big question if you would, uh, if it should be allowed in the United States, for example, and in uh, a lot of other countries, in European countries especially. The reason it was banned, it, it was, I'm sorry, not really banned. It was questioned, heavily questioned, questioned and criticized was because it was owned uh, by a different country, right? And it was massively popular in Asia, not just in Asia, but especially in Asia at that time. So the reason it was heavily criticized was one of the reasons, let's say, maybe not the only reason. One of the reasons it was heavily criticized and questioned, uh, scrutinized was because it was gaining more people. So they only offered short form videos at the time, right? Uh, the, of course, they are changing now. So YouTube took a step and YouTube introduced YouTube Shorts, right? And then Facebook, uh, followed up and introduced Facebook Reels, which didn't exist until, you know, a couple of years ago, maybe not even a couple of years ago. So, you see, they are, they are competing with each other. We've got to be aware of that as well.